to see me? And by chance, you should find yourself on the east side. I'd love for you to do me this favor. Rito Von Chesi has made some enemies. And now, they become my enemies. They say he's illegally parked. They say it would behoove him to remove his vehicle. Go check it out. This is all I would do for you, Don Tolioni. Hi, and thanks for watching the Toad Channel, where we break down the complex business of towing into bite-sized pieces you can consume at your leisure. I'm Don Archer, I'll be your host. Today we're going to show you how to load a car onto a carrier when you can't get backed up to it straight. If you operate a car carrier or rollback, you will eventually be forced to load a vehicle without being able to line up straight with it. It could be a wreck that's at a 90 degree angle with the road, it could be parked on a hill in a tight spot where you just can't push it out for easy loading. Whatever the reason, there are a few simple things you can do to solve this problem. The first thing you want to do is line up as straight as possible with the vehicle. Attach your bridle. We use mini J's in the transport slots in the front of this Mazda. Put some tension on your winch cable, take the car out of gear or put it in neutral and winch it until both front wheels are on the bed. At that point, you will see that if you continue to winch, the rear tire and possibly the rocker panel and more would hit the removable rail. You could remove the rail, but you would still have a problem. It would make it difficult to load and unload without causing damage to the vehicle. So to make it easy on yourself and the car, do this. Once the front wheels are on the end of the bed, stop winching. Engage the parking brakes so the car will not roll. Raise the bed slightly, just enough so that the stabilizer or foot can clear the ground. Get back in the truck, steer into the opposite direction of the overhang, and pull forward a little, just enough for the car and the bed to line up. Put the bed back down, release the parking brake, and continue winching the vehicle onto the bed. Sometimes you'll be in a situation that demands the use of a snatch block. You can use the tie down keyholes with a chain snatch block to winch a vehicle to the edge of your bed where you can either use the method described previously to continue loading or you can change the location of the snatch block on the bed adjusting the lengths of the chain to change the direction of the pull to get the car onto the bed. Now that you know the right way to do it, you need to know that there's a wrong way to do it. Rick is demonstrating what not to do with a large J-hook. If you take this shortcut to change the direction of the pull, you will shorten the life and decrease the integrity of your winch cable. Over time, your cable will kink and splinter and it could even break at the worst possible moment. It may look like the easy way to do it, but use a snatch block to avoid future problems. Avoiding damage is simple if you don't cut corners. Another example of this is rolling a car off the bed as opposed to winching it off. In this example, you'll notice how the end of the bed is on the ground when the car is holding it down. But when Rick rolls it off, it raises coming into contact with the front bumper. If he were to winch it off instead, he'd notice the end of the bed lifting and could adjust to avoid any unnecessary contact with the car. This goes out to all you numbnuts who drive rollbacks. I mean, thanks for watching the Toe Channel. All right, listen up. When you're winching a car onto your bed, keep your cable straight. Because if you don't, you're gonna make a mess out of your winch. And then if you get to an accident, and you pull out your cable, and... Nice. How hard is it? Keep it straight. Now you look like a dumbass, trying to clear up the bird's nest on the spool with a pry bar. Whenever you could have avoided it by only taking a few extra seconds, keeping the tension on the cable and spooling it up right. 
But no, you had to do it your way. You had better things to do. Now traffic's backed up, people are driving by and watching you while you're wrestling around with this machine. Cops are standing around looking at their watch going, come on, we gotta get going here. How embarrassing is that? Don't be that guy. Seven and two. Okay, go to 2012 Jackson. You know where that address is? 1992. What the? What is Norman Oh Paul. my god, he's doing the Godfather. We can't yeah. understand you! I can't understand you when you talk like that. It's going to fix it. The person is going to be paying. They're going to have a check. They might be paying the credit card. I don't know. I made him over there. Good reviews. Your will is my command. <laughs> so like a lens and lamp. Uh, have a have a whole oh, have a oh, I do this for you. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Don't be gay. <laughs> Action! Hold on. You're gonna really, really enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. I want you to do me this favor. 